copy of. If you got a videotape, you want to copy this because this is a golden oldie, the likes of which, I mean, this is in history, never has a song. I can't do this anymore. <laughs> well, this is like, on this show now? On this show, you're going to see it. We're going to take you back to 1956, and this is the way I, no, 1976. This is the, way I, this is the way I introduced it. Watch. Oh. Greet the man who is one of the most successful disc jockeys in the United States of America. He's rather fiendish mind put this upon the whole world. The thing, of course, of the disco duck. Oh, Ladies and gentlemen, no. <laughs> Rick Dees and the cast of idiots! Oh, what? Oh, my God. Now, wait, he's not... Give him a moment, he'll be on. Oh, God. Now, keep in mind, this is a show that introduced, you know, some of the all-time greats. Now, here he is. Michael Jackson have nothing to fear. Oh, my God. Oh, gosh. Oh, look at that. I, I can't. <laughs> that was my Joe Cocker. <laughs> it's a pleasure. That is one of the gems. Oh. You sucked me in, Dick. I thought you were going to say, wow, you know, we, we had the, the time that Madonna did this or Michael Jackson yeah. did that. And Disco I was doing my Joe Duck. Cocker there. Disco Duck. It Some, was... Sometime when you have a chance, go to the end of that at home and look at the interview, and I talk to you about what is it you hope to... How old were you then? I was uh, 25. Boy, you looked like you were 13 years old. Whatever happened to the mustache? You know, I, I had the mustache. My body rejected it after a while. I just, <laughs> I had to get rid of it. <laughs> well, there's a, there's a lovely, there's a real nice interview at the end. You'll like uh, it. You, obviously, you know, you have so much fun. And just watching that, I could see the smile on your face was real. You're not in this for the money because you've already done that. That was a what, long what time ago. What is it that drives that. you, Dick? I don't know. I always like to do things I haven't done before. Mm -hmm. I, I really... I really, really look forward to going to work every day, and most people can't say that. I'm sure, I don't know how you feel about getting up in the middle of the morning, but that's, uh, you know, you work late nights and mornings. When do you sleep? You know, I got this little cot that I take around in the back of my car, and I'll stop beside the road and do that. Well, do you have a hobby other than, than entertainment at all? Not really. I read, I listen to music, I swim, I garden, but it's nothing very uh, interesting. I travel a lot. Because and I, I, I just saw you and Carrie backstage. Yeah. You're planning out a trip to either New York or something. You know what that woman does to me? Well, this what, is, yeah, what does she do? This is a typical day. Look at this. Now, Let's this run down a typical Dick Clark day, if you don't well, mind. Well, she'll leave this on the bureau in the morning, and mm -hmm. it says, like, 7.30, do a live phone with Boston WBZ. Right. I've called you on a lot of occasions. Oh, absolutely. 7.45, conference call with New York business. Drive to work with the dogs at 8 to 9 o'clock. You do. You take your three dogs to work. Four. Four, four dogs. Oh, four boy. dogs and we climb in all over my head. <laughs> Get to New York, have a producer's meeting at uh, 9.30, a Disney meeting at 11.30. Uh, record, as I do a radio show like you do, Rock, right. Roll, and Remember at uh, 1 o'clock, at 2 o'clock. Oh, we did a uh, practical joke on Jason Hervey of bloopers, and that'll be on uh, Saturday of uh, Thanksgiving oh, that'll week. that'll be great. And it's a, it's a dandy. I just saw it. 3 or 4 o'clock, we have office calls and meetings. 4 o'clock, challengers, questions. I have to go over the questions on the game show. So I don't mispronounce that everything. That's a tough game. Oh, uh, tell me. And then we have an agency meeting in the afternoon. We have a, a little talent agency that we run on the side, and then we I go to dinner. I can't believe this. So that's every day you get a card day. like this from, from your wife. Yeah, and, that, and people say, how do you, why do you work so hard? Is it because the woman makes up the schedule <laughs> She makes like up the schedule. <laughs> she doesn't have to do it, I do it. The most beautiful schedule maker I've seen, I'll tell you that. Look at this, that's amazing. Now card, uh, I'm sorry, uh, Challengers is, is tough. Yeah. It's tougher than it looks. Well. Can I show you one of the things that, you know, nothing goes to waste in our lives. If we have outtakes, we save them and roll them on bloopers. This is the thing we set up on the challenge. This is supposed to be a tough game, you know, and, and you build the tension and all. And I think you've got it queued up to a little place where this is one of those little technical mistakes you'll never see on the air where we say, this is a question you have to answer. We put the question and the answer right on the screen. <laughs> Take a look. There are two questions remaining, Michelle. You can answer them, and they are valued at uh, $300 and $500, respectively. Uh, we'll uh, double the values of those. What would you like? Oh, boy, this is Remember, tough. if you're wrong, you lose the value of the question. I'll try license plates. All right, look to the screen and tell me in what state your car is registered if your license plate looks like this. Cue the wall. <laughs> What state? 
That's pretty strange. It's I think we gave you the song. answer. Really? Who's buried in Grant's tomb? <laughs> and that won't go on, obviously. You will never see that little goodie. But will we see you New Year's Eve? Yeah, for the 18th year in a row, I'll be standing out there, the rain, sleet, snow, and whatever, on ABC. On ABC yeah. and, and Times Square. Yeah. Uh, and what will you be doing? You know what? I'm going to be in, uh, in La Quinta. I, I'm, I'm doing a, a, where your party goes to the entire nation. Mine goes yeah. to about 30 people, and I, we blow a couple of horns, and that's about <laughs> that's it. That's how you spend New Year's? That, that'll will be you turn it. on a TV? Well, if you'll get sick, I'll fill in for you if you want. <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey thank you Dick, so fantastic. Dick Clark, the greatest. You know what? You know what? I'm doing a thing. I'm going to take you back to your days of radio. I'm trying to give away $40,000 yeah. to your show from the 50s. And uh, if you know, don't, don't leave. Are you going to play it for me? I'm going to play it right here from the 50s. If I, can I get a piece of the 40? You get I a know? piece of the 40. 10%. 10%. <laughs> Listen. What? That's it. I'm going to give a little what bit more. What are you more. trying to save the money? Of course. <laughs> because this show has no budget. <laughs> Dick Clark. Thank you, man. Thank you. Come on up and meet me.